Okie dokie. In this problem, they give us a function and they ask us to find the equation of the tangent line when the uh, firm has 400 clients. So in order to find the equation of a tangent line, we need a Q value. We need a P value. And we need a slope value for which we will find, or which we will find by finding the derivative of p, the function we're given, and then plugging in the q value that is provided to us. So if we can find q, and so if we can find q, we'll plug it into p to get a p value, and then once we have the q, we'll plug it into p prime, once we find p prime, and we want numerical values, we want numbers for each of these three things, and then I'll talk about what to do with each of these three things. So, q is, in this case, four. Why is it four? They say the firm has 400 clients, but they mention that Q is the number of clients in hundreds. So four represents 400 clients. So Q equals four. We plug in four into this function to get P. So I'll kind of uh, briefly write that out. We have negative two times four to the three over two plus one over four cubed minus two. Let's see if we can work this out by hand real quick. Four to the three over two, that's like the square root of four, and then we cube that. Square root of four is two, cubed is eight, times the negative two out in front, we get negative 16, and then we have plus one over four cubed. Four cubed is 64, and then minus two. Uh, so we have negative 18 plus one over 64. I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm gonna go straight to Desmos. So I think negative 18 plus 1 over 64 is what I said. Yeah. So negative 18, negative 16 minus 2 is negative 18 plus 1 over 64. And so we get that. Uh, let's get as a fraction. We have negative 1151 over 64. So P equals negative 11, what was it? 1151 over 64. We're two-thirds of the way there. We have Q value. We have a P value. So now we need P prime, which we will find by finding the derivative of P. So P prime, <coughs> excuse me, is equal to, using the uh, power rule, here we'll bring out the 3 over 2 times 2. 3 halves times 2 is 3. So we keep the negative. Negative 3 Q. 3 over 2 minus 1. Top minus bottom, 3 minus 2 is 1, and we keep the 2, plus 1 over q. Now keep in mind we want to treat it as q to the negative 3, for which we take the derivative and we get negative 3, we bring it out in front, keep the q, and then we subtract 1 from negative 3 to get negative 4. And then uh, the minus 2 just goes to 0 once we take its derivative. So we have p prime, and again this will tell us the slope of the tangent line at the specific Q value that we're plugging in. So now, keep in mind our Q is four, so we're plugging in four here. So we have four to the one half minus three, four to the negative four. I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite four to the negative four as four to the four, but in the denominator. So let's see, uh, four to the one half is the square root of four, so that's two times negative three is negative six minus three over, what is that? Uh, it's like 216 or something. So uh, let's see if we can just plug this in. Yeah, so we have negative six uh, minus, not plus, minus three over four to the fourth. And we get that. Uh, let's get it as a fraction, negative 1539. Negative 1539 over 256. And again, this is our P prime, which is also our slope of the tangent line. We have a Q, 4. We have a P, which is that. It's almost like an X and Y value, if you will. And then we have a slope. So similar to Y equals MX plus B, we are going to use... P, which is like our Y, equals MQ plus B. So what we need is to 
plug these in, we're going to plug all three of these values in first to get our B value. Once we have our B value, we'll be done, basically. Um, so the nice thing is you should actually see our M value in these answer choices right off the start. So we should see negative 1539 over, again, this is a 39, uh, over 256. Uh, so we see it, option D and then option A and nowhere else. So that's kind of nice. So now the question is, is this going to be our y-intercept, our b-value, or will this one be our y-value? So let's plug in our three values, p, q, and m, into this setup we have on the left here. So p is equal to negative 1151 over 64, equal to m, which is negative 1539 over 256. That's our m times our q-value, which was 4 plus b. So we will solve this for b. Let's see if I can just move everything to the left side. So if this is a negative on this side, I'll add it to the left side times 4 equals b. So I've just added uh, that product from the right to the left side. And so I'm going to calculate all of this at once if possible. We have negative 1151 over 64, I think, plus 1539. Whoa, looks crazy, sorry. All right, Fifth, uh, plus 1539 over, <clears throat> excuse me, we have 256 times 4, I think. Yep, so we have 6.0625, which is 97 over 16. So then we can probably identify our answer. That's a 16 there. So we have a P equals, we plug in our M, but we leave P and Q alone. So we have M times Q plus our B, which we now know is 97 plus 16, or sorry, 97 over 16. Uh, and that's it. All right, let me know if you have any questions. Again, thank you. Gabby for sending me some questions to work out for you all.